a beautiful little airplane. What's this called? It's called a, a Bomber Jensen BJ-24. Now, this airplane goes back into the 70s. How did you get involved with it? Well, I got involved with it through a friend of mine that had uh, some buddies, and they built this project, and it got put on the back burner. And uh, we, we, he, he, he wanted to see it finished and flying, and he couldn't do it, so I basically bought it from him, finished it, and flew it, and, and flew it first time this uh, April. So how much work did you have to do to get the airplane to the condition it's in now? Well, the airframe itself was pretty much done. There was a few odds and ends pieces, struts and things that, that needed finished. Um, but basically just covering paint and, you know, the little things, the little details. But a lot of it was finished. And then, guys, I mean, I'm telling you, it went together like a... It, it really went together well. They did a nice job. Now, were you working from plans, from, like, how did you know just exactly how it all went together? Well, I've got a briefcase that they give me of all the stuff that they did, and they, they kept every single receipt, and they had plans. They built it from plans. So I have all that that they, that they did. So anything that I needed to look up, I looked in the plans. Plans are a little bit vague, but all the information they had, it, it made it pretty easy to, to do. And covering on it, uh, you you switched from uh, the old Dacron into uh, Stitz covering now? Right, or? it's got a super flight on super flight? it. Super mm -hmm. flight? Yep. Um, what type of construction is used in the wings for someone that hasn't built an airplane like this? Um, it's all basically aluminum structure. It's got two aluminum tube spars um, and then aluminum ribs um, and then cross wires inside of those, but and it's, it's pretty sturdy wing. It's all riveted together? It's all riveted, yep. Now, this airplane, as I say, goes back into the early 70s or late 70s. When you look at some of the airplanes that are flying today, I mean, this has got three axis control. It's got all of them. Yeah. Well, Bummer Jensen was a pretty uh, ingenuitive kind of guy. He he seen the guys, and they had a, they had a, a, a design before this. They called it the swing wing. 23 was a swing wing. And so he he just put a three axis control on this, converted up, made it a 24. And uh, it started off as a foot launch glider, yeah, and then you used to have to pick it up, and there was a little harness that you strapped on right, your wings. And, right, and then they okay. soared off of uh, hilltops. Now this is powered by the little Yamaha 100 or 100 cc engine. Right, right. And I think that was what 18 or 19 horsepower. 15 horse. 15 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> now I hate to say this, but you're like me. You're not really, you know, down into the 130, 140 pound range. Right. How does the airplane fly with someone that's, you know, of normal weight? Well, they, the max pilot weight on this, they say, is 180 pounds, and I'm right at that. And it doesn't do too bad. I've flown it in some days when it was pretty hot, and it still did pretty good. It's got a really good glide. Um, you know, so it's it's a it does okay for 15 horse. It does pretty well. Oh, say you were on a on a normal grass trip like they got here at the Air Adventure. Yeah. How long of a runway would you need to actually take? Oh, it lifts off the ground in 150 feet, probably, or less, um, depending on the headwind. And, and climbing out over an obstacle is not a real super strong climber, but it uh, once it gets going, it uh, it does okay. Now, I remember back then I was 160, 165 pounds. I was still able to get between 400 and 500 uh, feet a minute on it. Yeah, yeah well, I don't know that it would quite get that. Maybe 200 feet a minute. Seems like around in there. And cruise is uh, 30 to 35 miles an hour? Yeah, yeah. And it stalls at about 15. Um, so it's pretty slow. And it, it really handles windy conditions with the, with the ailerons and the way the, the airfoil they use on the wings. That's what they say. I've not flown it a lot in the wind yet. You know, I'm, um, pretty new to me yet. So I've flown it on pretty calm days for the most part. But uh, it does handle well. I know you have no instrumentation on this at all. It's a seat of the pants thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because when we were flying them with the little Yamahas, they were having 10 seat overheat. We actually had to change the cylinder head. Well, there is a there's a cylinder head temp. Oh, you've got yeah, the... I got cylinder head temp in a, in the RPM gauge. Other than that, that's about the only thing you have to pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> how much money do you just roughly? How much money do you think you'd have wrapped up in something like this? Gosh, I don't. I, I'd be I'd be afraid to say. If you bought all the parts new and started today, because it is uh, still it, available to be built from a set of plans. You know, I, don't, I think you can probably still find plans, but I don't know whether Joel, or whether Vollmer Aircraft is, is in business anymore, yeah. or Jensen Aircraft. But uh, but I imagine there's still plans out there. So, you're just buying this just to fly it around and just enjoy yourself? Yeah, I like projects. I mean, I like to finish up projects. I've found quite a few different things that I've, you know, somebody started and I finish up. Fly for a few years, you know, and move on. So, have you been involved with aviation for a while now? Um, 
Yeah, quite a while. I started skydiving first, which has got me involved with the airplanes. Made lots of jumps, and, uh, and the airplane ride was cool, but I didn't think too much about it. And then in the uh, late 90s, I started to decide, you know, I found a uh, an airframe that needed finished, and I thought, well, I can do that. And that kind of what got me going with airplanes. And, and now I fly more than I jump, so. <laughs> So if someone had something like this and wanted to finish it off, are you adverse to giving out a, a name and a telephone number or something like that where they can get a hold of you? Sure. Yeah. So spit it out. Well, they can reach me at, uh, at uh, TR Lori 2009 at uh, yahoo.com. Or they can, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty easily found. I, I actually hang her at a little field called Nulltown. Uh, it's Nulltown Wingnuts. And the identifier on that is... Uh, 73 ii okay. well thank you very much for your time we appreciate yeah. that all right